What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay guys, so here we are, for Tree City, after five long episodes, I, I would like to say. And, yeah, we finally made it, and, well, we gotta heal our Pokemon because, god dang it, we, got, we went into a buttload of battles and stuff, and, well, we went through battles. Wars, if even. But look at that. We got some healed Pokemon and all that stuff, too. Now, we're going to be uh, exploring Fortree City. They actually did add quite a few things to Fortree City that, you know, it is very special. Uh, I believe there was somebody out there that actually told us that they will be at Fortree City uh, once we go and visit them. So now, what we're going to do right here is we're going to talk to this person. Let's see. Right here. Hi. There's this Pokemon that I'm looking for. I want a Spinda. Do you have one? Would you trade it for a Skitty? Sure, why not? I actually got a... Yeah, I actually have it right on my... I actually have it. So, let's go ahead and get that Spinda out. Oh, there it is. I can always capture another one. Spindas are... Just, yeah, they're, they're kind of weird and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and trade these Pokemon right here. Yes, I will be nice to your Skitty. Although, I do have a Skitty of my own and all that crud. So, here we are trading with Elisa. Or Lisa, or whatever you like to call her. Look at that. In-game trading. Yeah, buddy. In-game trading. And bam. Look at that Pokemon. Skitit. That's right. We got ourselves our Skitit. Because it has a big old tit. I don't even know. Don't want to be too vulgar on that one right there. So, look at that. Thank you for trading me that Pokemon. I wanted to do this Pokemon, so I promised to go take care of it. Okay. That's cool. So, that's one thing you can actually do right here. And, let's see. If you talk to this lady, trading Pokemon with others... It's as if you're trading your own memories with the other people, which is true. Very, very true. And, well, let's see. There is a little something right here. Now, if you go to this next area, let's see. Talk to this lady. And she's like, people, Pokemon, their hidden powers are awakened by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awakened. Let's see. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me wh which hand it holds. I guess it's on the right hand, right? You are correct. Let's try again. Let's try the other hand. Uh, left hand. Okay, so never mind. Whatever. You know what? Let's do this again. Screw you, man. I'm not going to get this wrong. All right, let's try it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to press right. Right. And one more time. It's just a matter of me guessing and stuff. Left hand. Yes. And we get ourselves the TM10, which is Hidden Power. A very, very nice move. And, well, that is the end of that right there. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she will be able to tell you what kind of Hidden Power your Pokemon has. What type it should be. So, let's see. This Pokemon actually has a Steel type, which is good. Super good. Okay, so that's good. That's good. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. And now, if you go down here, you will be able to go to the Fortree City Gym. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do that right now because there's an invincible obstacle in your way. I'm trying to move. Yeah, can't, can't, you, you can't go there yet. You really can't. So let's go right ahead and talk to the people right here. Let's see. Hmm, Senior Pokedex just reminded me of something. I met this trainer, Steven, when he was uh, or when I was researching some rare stones. Oh boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't uh, just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the, the gym leader in this town. You don't say. And let's see, what's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called the Pokedex, it's really awesome. Oh, that's true, that's true, there's a lot of uh, people here. A lot of people, and, well, let's see, if you talk to this guy, Sniff, hmm, he smells singed. Were you at a volcano or something? Yes, I was, I was at the, what, I was at near a volcano or something, yeah, I was. Now, if you talk to this lady, by being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends, and that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty cool, very, very cool. There, go bird, Pokemon. And this Pokemon is going somewhere, probably Moss Deep, right? Let's see. <laughs> I asked my Wingle to run an errand for me. That is so cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's go into the other area right here. And wait, as you go down, you will see Steven Stone is right here. He's like, hmm, 
It looks as though that Pokemon can be found up to Route 120. Okay, so he's just, uh, you know, he's being himself right there. Very methodical on the crud. And, uh, well, let's go towards the other houses right here because there are there is an important place you can actually find right here. Being in this place, look at that. Guess who we see? Yo, Draven, I knew we'd meet! Again. Wait, you don't know where you are? This is a secret base guild, of course. Huh? What'd you mean you never asked? Oh, you never... Oh, never to be shy, my boy. The secret base guild is here to fully support everyone so they can uh, have a secret base life full of adventure. We can give you hints on how to enjoy your base in items that you can't get anywhere else. And best of all, coming here means you can always meet me anytime you want. Nodding his head right there, and uh, you know, Draven, that reminds me. You you still haven't made yourself a team, have you? See, a team is made up of, like, the pals that you hang out on your base with you. I guess you can just call them friends, but it doesn't team sound cooler. When you meet people in order in other bases, you can ask them and join your team. Nothing wrong with playing alone, of course. But having some pals around can uh, sure can be uh, can liven things up in your base. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you ought to give it a shot before you write it off. Oh yeah, you've been catching flex, the uh, little pal. Here, here, here at the secret base guild, we assign ranks to all the teams based on how many flags they've managed to get. See, the more secret bases you find and the more flags you snag, the higher you and your team will end up in the rankings. Okay. Huh, you want to know why we do that? Ain't it obvious? It's more fun that way. A bit of rivalry gets everybody fired up. That is true. Very, very true. You see how you see how competitive I got when uh you know when we got to that, that, that location right there, yeah. And it doesn't seem like uh full of adventure to be a, an endless hunt for more flags. The higher your rank gets, the richer your base life will become, you see. So, go out there and find those flags and bring them to bring here uh, to me. So let me give you a gift to my fe fellow base fanatic for coming so far to see me. Okay. And here we go. We got ourselves a proclamation for the base. And let's see. The proclamation will be will let you set the base format that you will fly into your own base. There are a lot of decorations with special and cool effects like that. Whenever you get a, a, a new bit of a swag for your digs, check it out and see what it does. So enjoy the base life. The base life. Okay, so we got that taken care of, and well, let's see, let's see. Uh, that's nothing right there. So if you go right here, you can actually find some uh, some different kind of items right here, like a small chair, pokeball chair, heavy chair, you know, that, that kind of stuff. This guy sells chairs. This person right here, let's see, what does he sell? Oh, uh, fences, Makiwara, I don't even know what that is, a post tightly wrapped in straw, used for cut practice by masters of, the oh, okay, and a gym statue, which you guys probably already, will probably already know that I'm going to use that, look at that, it has a lot of stuff right here, very, very expensive, by the way, and, well, let's see, let's see, now if you talk to this person right here, hi, do people tell you what, what you look like, a, do you look like an ace trader? Yes, I do. I knew it. I just knew it. Okay, I do look like an ace trainer right there. And uh, let's see. Are you inviting pals to your secret base? Maybe. You invite up to five as your pals into your base. There are many different types of people with different special skills. For example, I'm an ace trainer and good at doing exercise with Pokemon. That is true. That is pretty much me right there. And let's see. Decorations you buy here are sent to these PC exclusive exclusively to your secret base. How great is that? Would uh, would be even greater if they could have delivered uh, to me at home, too. That is true. Okay, so we're done with this place. And let's see, there is another place that we can go to, and... I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna get to you very, very soon, Jim. Just not in this episode. And let's see, talk to this person. Living on top of trees is fine, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in uh, through the windows. It can cause quite a fright. Yeah, it does. Quite a fright. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Now, if you talk to this guy, Pokemon and people have adapted to nature to survive. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. That is true. Try telling that to Team Magma and Aqua. Really? Now, let's see. Climbing up and down, living in here is a ticket of health, hey? Why don't you use this to stay in shape, too? 
and we get ourselves some stairs for our base. And that can actually be used for any kind of a, you know, cave base, uh, bases that need like stairs and all that stuff, if you guys know what I mean. And tree houses at Fort Tree are great. I think it's a number one town for living Paducah together with Pokemon. True, very, very true. And, oh wow, nearly shocked the crud out of me. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Uh, we're not going to end the episode just about yet. We still need a few more things to do. Like, we are going to battle a few trainers. And then, you know, grab a little something for a little something. And then just to get rid of a little something. That way we can do a little something in the next something episode. You guys know what I mean? That's something. Alright, so here we are in Route 120. And there will be quite a few trainers. So I, I got to get rid of all these trainers first. Actually, you know what? We don't really need to battle these trainers at all. We just, we can hide. Alright, look at that. I'm not going to battle anybody. In fact, I'm going to use a repel. And just, uh, you know, finesse my way out of here. So, hold on. There we go. Super repel. Alright, so, let's see. If you try going down here, actually, there is something right here. Hold on. No, actually, there's nothing right there, but let's go ahead and grab this item. Look at that. We found ourselves a nest ball. Look at that. And would you look at that? Steven's waiting for us. Now, before we do anything, let's go into the secret base. Ruin's base. So, welcome to the episode, Ruin, and... Oh, crud. It's only one Pokemon trainer. Okay, so... It's only one trainer. Actually, hold on. Lexi. I might just do this. Okay, so my Pokemon are, well, they're leveled. Okay, I'm going to take the challenge right here. And if this guy somehow happens to have a legendary Pokemon, then that's all on you guys, okay? Peer pressure. I'm giving up to peer pressure, so let's see. Well, good job finding this base. I'm ruined, by the way. Please take this as a little thank you for coming to this base. Every single time you meet the actual guy, like the main guy of the, of the base, they will actually give you a special item for your secret base. And, uh, well, if you want to battle them, they will tell you what you kind of, sp or what they specialize. So, we're going to be doing a single battle right here. Hopefully, he doesn't have any super powerful Pokemon. He has three, and he is coming out with a Swablu. Okay, so, not, not super powerful. I'm not going to count my eggs just, or my chickens, or my, yeah, my eggs just yet, because, you know, I did that in a few episodes, and, yeah, look what happened. Got my ass kicked. So, let's go with the Charge Beam right here. Oh yeah, they usually start off with the weak Pokemon, but it's usually a strong Pokemon that follows in this guy right here, using the fly attack. Alright, let's go with a magical leaf, and here comes fly attack, oh crud. Not powerful enough, but here comes another charge beam, that way I can heighten up that special attack. Yeah buddy. Okay, look at that, more special attack, it has risen. So what other Pokemon do you do you have? Let's see. And let's see. He's coming out with a Marsh Chomp. Oh crap! So this guy might. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna continue with Gaia right here. But this guy might have a this Mar. Oh wow. Okay. Never mind. Marsh Chomp. I was thinking of somebody else right here. I was about to say this guy. This guy is about to Omega evolve, and it's gonna be scary. And well, there is a Protect. Ah, oh, crud. Alrighty. So here we go. Magical Leaf. Let's get this. Now, another reason to why, yeah, leveling up in this whole game is so easy is because there's a lot of trainers that will want to battle you. And not only that, but there are secret bases along the way too. And they may or may not have Pokemon that just, you know, are straight up powerful. So leveling up is easy. Uh, getting to level 100 is very, very easy. And, you know, after doing this episode right here, guys, I will... Oh, crap, he's Mega Evolving Crap Baskets. Okay, so there's our first taste of Mega Evolution. Crap Baskets on a... Oh, crud. So he's strong, and there's that Intimidate. Not going to be effective against me, so here we go. Psychic Attack. So, yeah, look at that. That was easy. So much for Mega Evolution. Alrighty. Okay, so I did the right thing against this guy. All right, look at that, look at that, and look at that. Okay, so Rune has been defeated, and he's like, no surprise, I hate to admit it, but you're pretty strong. Okay, all righty. And uh, well, we don't need anything else right here. So we can battle him anytime, but every single day, 
changes will happen. So we might not see Rune again. Somebody might take his spot. Whatever. So let's go. Let's see. Oh damn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so there, there it is. Again, guys, the lagginess and all that crud. So there we are, and let's go inside this guy's secret base right here. If I can move. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We're, ah, crap baskets. Again, we're not moving. And here we are in team. I don't know whose bas uh, base is this. Okay, so let's see. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to wait just a bit because... Uh, actually, you know what? Everything's moving smoothly, right? I guess. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm just talking with myself and... Uh, crap, we fell into a pitfall right there. Okay, so... Okay, so we are frozen right here. So I'll be right back and so I can fix this whole thing right here, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, my bad, guys. Sometimes this whole thing lags up and, you know, it's whatever. So here we go. We're falling into another pitfall right here. And we're going to get his flag right here. I don't know what, what kind of name is this. So uh, whoever's base is this, hello. Welcome to the, you know, welcome to the show right here, I guess. And, yeah, we're not going to be battling anybody right now because, uh, yeah. When he has a crew, yeah, he does have Pokemon. Strong Pokemon and all that stuff. So let's move on right here and we're gonna be going downward right here and of course you're gonna be finding good old Steven Stone right here as you can see we're walking through and BAM hmm homie here is just looking at us he's like Draven so we meet again how has it been have you been uh, using the mega bracelet wisely well I haven't used it at all I suppose I need I needn't uh, even ask though not not when I, it comes to you and your team. I wonder, have you noticed? Hmm, there's something here you can't see. Now, if we were to use a device on an invisible obstacle, and looking at it, no, no, rather than just describing it, I should just show you. That should be more entertaining. Draven, are you and your Pokemon ready for a battle? Sure, why not? Good. In that case, I want you to take this. Try it on, I'm sure it will fit you. Okay, and we're getting ourselves a goggles, like little goggles. And look at that. Oh damn. And we oh, wow, how the Devon scope. Oh damn! Oh damn! A previously invisible Pokemon became visible to the naked eye. It started or the startled Pokemon attacked! Ah, crab baskets. Here we are, we're gonna get attacked. Okay. Here we go. Going up against a Kecleon right here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, so that's what was this. Okay, so that's that's exactly what was uh, going on right here. Of course, it's gonna be invisible and all that crud. So here we go, psychic attack. Get it? Yeah, buddy. And uh, there's that color change, which will transform this Pokemon into another typing. And you know what? I always do this, and I do have to. <laughs> wow. I do have the color change too. You know what? I'm gonna capture this Pokemon. Not going to add him on my team, but. You know, it would be a cool Pokemon to actually have, right? Right? Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a green Pokemon for this guy right here. Okay. Ah, oh, damn you. Come on. Stay in my god. Oh, damn. It does have a Psychic Attack. And that would be a good Pokemon to actually have that. Oh, yeah. You know what? Kecleon can actually learn some pretty good moves, too. I just don't know about using them and all that crud. So here we go again. Netball. Let's go. Stay in there. Stay in the goddamn ball. Come on. Don't be stupid. Yeah, buddy. So there it is. I'm throwing out that peace sign, guys. Throwing out a major peace sign. Suck it. There we go. Click Leon. Click Leon will be ours. For the taking. And it will be added to our Pokedex. And, well, look at this. This Click Leon, the Kick Leon. We met. This is the second time we met it. The color, the color swap Pokemon. Kick Leon is capable of changing his body colors to... Uh, at will to blend in with its surroundings. There is one exception. This Pokemon can't change the zigzag pattern on its belly. Oh wow. So you can actually see that. That is true. That is true. Okay, so we're not gonna nickname this Pokemon. We're just gonna send him straight to the PC. Now, the important part about this whole this whole episode right here is this. As you guys probably will notice in the future, 
yeah, you know, I will be coming out with like short snippets of Mega, Evol Mega Evolution in Pokemon you can Mega Evolve. And this is probably the only episode that will uh, will be that I will be using for commentary on the Mega Evolutions and all that stuff. So here we are with Steven saying, just as I expected, that's called a Devon Scope. It's a fantastic piece of tech that lets you see Pokemon in hiding. Consider it a gift from me. Take it. And there we go. We get ourselves a Devon Scope. Okay, so. Now, going into the Mega Evolution portion of this, and I'm going to do this an episode within an episode right here. So welcome to what to evolve a Mega Evolution or what Pokemon evolved through Mega Evolution. Right here, you'll be able to find your starter Pokemon as Mega Evolution or Evolutionary Stone. Doesn't matter which one, you'll have it. So here you are, here we are, he's saying, and one more thing. We get our Septitite. Septilite. Septitolite. And of course, you guys will be seeing, it, you know, in the transition after this, the Mega Evolution for Sep Septa. Not right now in this episode, but you know what I mean. Bam! Alrighty. This stone ranks as one of my top five favorite stones in existence. I have no doubt that your Pokemon will like it too. You know, Draven, I like to see trainers and Pokemon who are trying their best. That's why I like you so much. Question mark. Hmm. It seems as though something just shone for a moment in your bag. I'm sure it senses power of some, of some kind of stone. A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Let me see, let us see again. Okay, so that right there covers the whole thing with the satellite, the lazy can light, mud can light or whatever. In this episode too, episode 45, so, in the next episode, we will be going into the Fortree City Gym, and we're going to kick some ass and get some more gym badges, because we need another gym badge, guys. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>